about the camera just cut off? But is we gonna let that stop the video? Of course not. What's up, y'all? It's Sugar Yvonne. Mari. Okay, let me stop. We ain't gonna do that today. <laughs> but, um, yes. Today, um, we are going to look at the Bible verses that keep me going. So, I'm not sure what I'm gonna title this video yet. I still, I'm not certain. So, yeah. Before we start the video, I know you have seen this scarf, like, for the second time. This is my prayer scarf, so it's something really special to me. So, if I wear it multiple times, then, you know, it's something that's valuable, you know. And my nails, I got my nails done. But this, this is not my color. I know, I know, I know you're like, girl, it's your color. Like, it's not, it's not my color. It's not my color. But yeah, anyway, that's not the point. So today, I'm going to get in today's video, and it's going to be Bible verses that help me every day, or Bible verses that keep me going. I'm not sure what I'm going to name the title yet, but yes. So yeah, so let's go ahead and start on that video. All right, the first one I have is Psalms chapter 18, verse 2. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. So, right here, this verse, I just keep this with me all the time. Like, I even got it on my wall up there. See? It's all the way up there. I'm going to go, I'm going to show it to y'all, but just not right now. But, yes, like, I keep this verse with me all the time. I got it on my wall. I got it on, like, a sticky note. You know, it's in the Bible, so I go back over there. And I keep it in my book. Yes, I keep it in my book. So, yeah, right here, this just let me know that God is my everything. He is my provider, my counselor, my therapist. He's my everything. Like, he's the reason why I breathe. He's the reason why I wake up in the morning. He's the reason why I watch TV. He's the reason why I sleep and wake back up. He's the reason why I breathe, you know. He's the reason why I got family. You know, he's just the reason for everything. Like, every time you're doing something, it's because you have the ability to get up and walk and do that and do all that stuff. And it's all through Jesus who give us the strength. Because if you wake up in the morning, you know that's a blessing, right? Every time I wake up in the morning, that's the first thing I do. I thank the Lord for everything. I'm like, thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. I always do that. You have to because it's like, you know, like, come on. You know, Jesus just woke you up this morning. You don't think that's a big deal? That's a big deal because people don't wake up every morning. So, yeah. Next one. The next one is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. Walk with the wise to become wise for a companion of fools suffer harm. Um, I keep this with me too because um, I want to learn how to hang out with wise people when i choose my friends choose them wisely choose my relationships choose them wisely you know everything i want to do i want to make sure i do it wisely and choose wisely so you know i pray for wisdom every day like make sure i'm on the right path and i you know entertaining no fools that's not gonna get me nowhere and, and acting like a fool it's not gonna get me nowhere either so i just really this this verse right here really keep me cautious how about the camera just cut off but is we gonna let that stop the video? Of course not. Let's keep going. Anyway, like I said, you just have to be cautious about who you hang with. Because people will literally come into your life to waste your time. Who sent them? I don't know. The devil. But anyway, that's why you have to be cautious about who you hang with. Because of the simple fact, people, they just... They just like... They just here to waste... To see you fall. To not see you go forward. To, it's just... People like that so you have to realize who you're friends with you cannot tell your friends on your business because you might you might have been close with that person for about 12 to 3 years but you don't know if that person has changed so you have to be careful who you tell your business to just because you know you found something out about somebody else or you found something out about yourself or you broke up with your boyfriend don't mean you gotta hurry up and go that don't mean you gotta go tell your friend girl take quan broke up with me like <laughs> you don't have to do that just bring it to jesus and just be like lord i'm hurting because of this breakup but lord please give me the strength not to be tempted by me texting 
Dang, I just said that so wrong. But what I'm saying is, please give me the strength not to text my friend all my business about what happened. You know, like, don't stop trying to tell your friends everything or every move that you do. Like, that's not, mm -mm. that's just, that's supposed to be between you and God, not you and Samantha or you and Keisha. You know, that's not supposed to be between y'all. That's supposed to be between you and God. So, yeah. Next one is. Romans chapter 12 verse 6 to 8 and you know I didn't write all this on paper so I gotta go to the Bible. <clears throat> all right it says um we have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us if your gift is prophesying then prophesy in accordance with your faith if it is serving then serve if it is teaching then teach if it is to encourage then give encouragement me okay <laughs> if it is giving then give generously if it is to lead do it dil diligently if it is to show mercy do it cheerfully this verse right here is everything because it lets me know that i have a gift it, it lets everyone know that y'all have a gift somewhere you know because god has given everyone gifts so this verse right here it just let me know that i have a gift and i need to share it and I feel like my gift is to encourage. So if I have a gift, you shouldn't hide that gift. Because I was in church the other day and my pastor was like, do not hide your gifts. So I was like, because hmm. I've been hi I've been hiding mine because I, you know, like what people say and things like that. But I don't got over all that. I don't care what nobody got to say. I don't care if you see me posting um, godly content and things like that. If I want to change my life around, if I want to help other people, that's what I'm going to do. Because I used to be so like man what if this person say this and what this person like who cares y'all can't be mad because i love jesus anyway <laughs> you know so like it's just a simple fact like you just have to be willing like to give your gift not give your gift but share your gift with other people but don't be telling people all your gifts you know because that's the gift that god gave you like some people can sing some people can dance some people can some people can memorize the bible like like, they can really, really memorize it. Like, they know every single word. You know, a lot of people, we got different gifts. Prophesying, serving the community. We got all types of different gifts. So, this verse right here lets me know that I have a gift and I should not hide it. So, so I'm not going to hide it. And I feel like my gift is to encourage, so that's what I'm going to do. Because if I just keep my gift to myself and I just encourage myself, encourage the people in my house, what good does that do to me? I mean, I want to be able to go outside of my house and preach to people and give people advice you know give people encouragement so you know share that gift like don't give the gift away but like share it with other people don't hide your gift you know express your gift so yeah the next one is romans chapter 8 verse 37 know in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us this verse right here i love this verse because as y'all can see it says more than conquerors through him who loved us it's everything because you know you know them times when you feel like you're going through something like real hard in your life you feel like you cannot to get over it like it's like a it's like something stopping you like a block or something or like a barrier or something it's like really stopping you and you feel like you can't jump over it it's god said we are more than conquerors so through him we can do anything there's nothing standing in our way but us and we have the ability to knock anything out because we are more than conquerors. So we can do anything. There's nothing stopping us. Not even the devil can stop us. Not even demons can stop us. Nothing can stop us because we are more than conquerors. So, yeah. And also, also like, you know, sometimes I be feeling like, because I'm going, like, I'm going through a little, little situation right now. But sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of the situation because... It's like, it's so hard. Like, what? But y'all know it ain't nothing too hard for Jesus because they ain't nothing too hard for him. He has been through it all. So, um, yeah. We are more than conquerors. We can beat anything as long as we got Jesus. Just, just ask him, Lord, please give me that strength that I need to keep going. Give me that wisdom so I can speak wisely, choose wisely, and do wisely. Lord, help me to center my life with you like just everything so like yes like i said we are more than conquerors we can do anything there's nothing impossible nothing is impossible with god nothing and we have this one one corinthians chapter 13 no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind 
and God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are being tempted, he will also provide a way out so you can endure it. Okay. I ain't going to make this long because I know I've talked too much. But, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, this verse right here it just lets me know that the situation that I am, the situ uh, I'm sorry, the situation that I am in now, I know I'm going to get out of it soon. Because it's like, you know when you try to rush a situation, like, for example, you um just broke up with your boyfriend. You miss him, though. You do. <laughs> you miss him. And it's like, you're trying to get over him. So you delete photos and do all this. And you delete text messages. And you try to get him out your mind, but he's still on your mind. And what we try to do is we try to rush the process. And we try to, like, go out with someone else or things like that. Like, that's not going to help anything. Don't do something that's not going to help you. And going out with another boy is not going to help you, girl. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, you just have to think about it in that way. And when we are in situations, when God put us in situations, it's only so we could be better. So, he, he's, he's making us better. He wants to know if we are going to trust him. Is we going to have strong faith? Is we going to be confident in our prayers? He just wants to know, like, if I put you in this situation, will you call on me? Yes, I will. But, yes, like, any situation we get into, we're going to get out of it soon. But you have to learn how to go through this type of situation. So, the next situation you get into, you already know what to do. And, yes, this is my video. That's about it. Um, also, with the um, Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 20, I had another one that go along with that. That was 1 Corinthians, um, chapter 5, verse 33. Good, I'm, I'm sorry, bad company corrupts good character. So, you know what that means. Watch who you hang around. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to end this video because I got to, you know, go to sleep. And I want to watch some more of TV. And, yes, but um, I just want y'all to know that um, I'm a girl. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. But I just want y'all to know that I'm just a young girl who loves talking about Jesus. And, you know. I struggle with what other girls struggle with. You know, some some of us girls are not Christians because we, we have not adapted to that lifestyle. You know, I'm not... I'm not fully Christian at all, so I can't sit here and say, hey, I'm a Christian, da, da, da. but that's what I'm trying to be. So, I'm still... God is still working on me. I still got some errors in my life that I need to fix and that he will help me fix. So, don't think, oh, she following Jesus. She thinks she all that. Oh, we got another person. Da, 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 da. She ever she know everything because she has Jesus on her side. Like, girl, I'm just a young girl. A young 14-year-old girl who loves Jesus. That's all. I hope y'all have a blessed day. Don't forget to love God, love others, and baby, don't forget to love yourselves. So yeah, love ya. See you later. Why did I do that? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. By the way, y'all, if y'all see me like stuttering and stuff like that, I get nervous when I'm on the camera, especially like when I'm about to post on YouTube or anything. I just like get like. Mm, very nervous so yeah don't mind that and if i keep saying like 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 i'm just used to saying that because i've been like saying that almost my whole life so now i'm gonna hear a lot of like <laughs> okay you know everybody got their little thing that they be saying you know but yeah i'm kind of shy on the camera but, like if you see me in real life you know hey you know but anyway y'all have a blessed day love god love others and baby don't forget to love yourself love you